guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a special recipe. This time we are going to make use of butterfly pea flowers. So what I have here with me are fresh butterfly pea. We are going to make butterfly pea hazelnut latte. And for this we are going to make two different ways. So for those that have the original fresh flowers, you can use fresh butterfly pea flowers because I am in Thailand, it's quite easy to find this. Or if you don't have fresh butterfly pea flowers, you can use also the dried ones, which are dehydrated and it works just as well and it can last longer. And the other, the other one that we are going to use is if you don't have the fresh flowers, if you don't have the dried flowers, you can also use a special 100% natural butterfly pea powder. So I'm going to show you the way to do it using both of these. So whatever you might have available, you can use that. Now, what is butterfly pea? Butterfly pea or blue tea is actually a very healthy flower. What it gives you is the, all the antioxidants that you need, all the benefits that, the, that a tea can give you. And at the same time, it actually gives you that beautiful blue color, just like the flower. And the beauty of the butterfly pea is that it doesn't have taste or smell. So it doesn't actually alter the taste of your base drink. So if you're making coffee, it will taste like coffee. If you're making tea, it will taste like tea. Like today, we are going to make hazelnut latte. That means to say the taste of my drink should be that of hazelnut and milk. But I'm making it a bit more exciting by adding the blue color with all the benefits that a butterfly pea flower gives you. So, let's start. One of my drinks, I'm going to use this fresh butterfly pea flower and I'm going to put hot water into my cup. So, as you can see, I'm going to put about four ounces here. And I have to steep it for about five minutes. So, you will see the color changing to a beautiful, bluish color. So because I don't want to wait for five minutes, I already have this which has been steeped for five minutes. Okay? But as we continue making our drinks after we finish, I'm going to show you how it turns to a beautiful blue color. And the other one, because this is powder, all you need here is a very, very little quantity of our butterfly pea flour. I'm going to use only one fourth of a teaspoon of this powder. So put it into my shot glass and I'm going to put two ounces of hot water. So that's two ounces of hot water and dissolve the powder in the two ounces of water. There you go. So we have this. It's made of powder. But is this any less healthy? Not really, because this is also 100% natural flour. It lasts longer than the real flour or the dehydrated flour. The ingredients that we will use for this blue hazelnut latte are, of course, hazelnut flavor. I'm using this brand here. You can use any brand. And also, if you don't have hazelnut, you want to change it to caramel or vanilla the same recipe applies. And of course, we need our fresh milk. So really, all we need are these three ingredients. notice that the one that we use the powder is a little bit darker in color because the powder is finer and that means you get more out of 
each of the particles that were added to this drink. And the one that's using fresh flour gives you that lighter color. If you steep it longer, that's fine. It will get even darker. So you might want to steep it for half an hour or so. It doesn't get any more bitter. It just makes the color darker. So if you're going to make it for your milk tea or coffee shop, you steep it for a bit, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get the darker color. And now let's give it a try. Wow, what it tastes like, of course, is hazelnut and milk. There's no taste to the butterfly pea, but it makes me feel like having this drink because it's so beautiful to look at. The taste of this one, to me, is just perfect. If you add more sugar syrup to this, it might be too sweet. This is perfect, and it's also healthier if you don't put any more sugar than it's already in the syrup, okay? And for this one that uses the powder, Perfect. So it shouldn't be surprising that they should taste the same because the butterfly pea doesn't add any more taste. For today, that's all I want to share with you. If you have any questions, do let me know, comment below. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe to this channel for more of these recipes. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.